This is 10 Eyewitness News, first at five, with Natasha Billing. Good evening. First tonight, it appears Deputy Prime Minister Barnaby Joyce may have saved the coalition's shaky hold on government. He's managed to find a solution to a sugarcane dispute that rogue Nationals MP George Christensen is happy with. And despite threats last week to leave the party, Mr Christensen is now staying put. Here's Leah Craven. Remembering the day war arrived on Australia's shores. In 1942, when a formation of silver flecks glinting in the mid-morning sun appeared over the horizon. Putting politics aside for the day, our leaders commemorated the 75th anniversary of the Japanese bombing that devastated Darwin. Soldiers, sailors, airmen of the Australian and United States Armed Services died alongside them, defending our land skies and sea. Despite a changing of the guard in the White House, Malcolm Turnbull is confident Australia's military alliance with the United States is as strong as ever, and US Marines will remain in Darwin. I expect, based on the discussions I've had with the President, that the United States presence in the region uh, will remain strong and is more likely to be enhanced. But when it comes to unity within the government, the Prime Minister wasn't as keen to take questions. Are you hopeful Barnaby, Barnaby Joyce's dash to George Christensen's seat will keep him calm? Right, look, I, you asked a question, you are first a question about the ANZ. Yeah. Now on that note, we must uh, love you and leave you. Thanks very much. Malcolm Turnbull left it to his deputy to deal with the sugarcane stoush that was threatening to cause a destabilising defection from his government. Queensland Nationals MP George Christensen reportedly penned a resignation letter this week due to government inaction over an ongoing row between a foreign-owned sugar mill and cane growers in his electorate, but then decided not to send it. Today, the rogue MP watered down his rhetoric. I never, ever made any threat to leave the National Party. In fact, all along, I've said I'm loyal to Barnaby Joyce, I'm loyal to the National Party. George has done an excellent job, uh, obviously, uh, bringing it, uh, making it well and truly full colour in Canberra. There's no doubt about that. A crisis averted for now. Leah Craven, 10 Eyewitness News.